Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 and our European Journeyman Series at Brighton. We're in the middle of January as we try to continue our push up into the Champions League places for next season. Um, as you can see, we're two points outside of them at the moment. We're only four points from that magical 40-point threshold that newly promoted sides are after. But we'll have another 15 or so games to go by the time we get there. So we're doing incredibly well right now. We've had a little bit of a rest just a few days from the last episode. Um, and the team are looking a little bit fit. The only t player coming in fully fit is Ayoso Andres for this game at home against Newcastle. We'll also take on Stoke away, Bournemouth at home and Watford away in the Premier League. Nice alternating fixtures there of home and away. But we are in need of trying to get together a nice winning run. We haven't had a win, uh, winning streak for a little while since November really. Um, and a bit of indifferent form has hurt our league position as well. We were starting to look like we might establish ourselves in the top four, but it has just petered out a little bit and we need to get back to winning ways. Uh, the rest of the team joining um, Andres in defence is made up of Lambese, Pachaska, Marin and Eduardo. We've got Bakari and Morris in midfield with Frias, Hartwig and Bueno up front and Darbo in goal. Marin with the throw in. He finds Bakaria. Ball to the edge of the area for Morris. His effort blocked Lambese to Bakaria again. Just trying to find a ball through here. Morris into Bueno. He slips it into Hartwig. Good position. Great turn of pace, but he just pushes it wide of the post. Hartwig coming forward. Finds Bueno. He's got players to his right. Morris is one of them. Now it's Eduardo into Bueno again. Morris. Still looking for the breakthrough. Hartwig finds Eduardo. Bakaria into Frias. Good position, but Rodrigo tips it wide of the post. Over an hour gone in this game. We are totally in control of it, but we are not getting the shots on target. We need to get a goal. Uh, Hickman has the ball here. He's fresh on the field. Cupidon also on as a substitute. Now Lambeze into Morris. Bakaria through to Hickman. He's then fouled by Atomo and... Newcastle should be going down to 10 men here. There's the second yellow card. The red card follows, and we have half an hour against 10 men to try and find this winner. Cooper on with a free kick. Just over 15 minutes left. It's headed out, and Bomb is the man chasing it. He then just about holds on to it. Morris back to Pachaska. Into Morris again, and bomb to Morris once more. Free ass through to Cooper on good position, and he gets the cross shot goal inside the far post. An excellent finish to make it 1 0, and surely this time we will be able to see out the game and get three points. Well, there is the full time whistle. We have managed to see this game out and get the home win against Newcastle. That'll do us a world of good. It also moves us up into fourth place, at least temporarily. The teams around us pretty much all still need to play, but it is nice to see us within that touching distance of Champions League football. We need to try and get a second win in a row in this episode. We're away from home against Stoke. We've been quite good away from home this season, and hopefully we can be so again. Uh, we did draw with Sunderland in our last away match, but we are in fifth place. United still with a game in hand on us, but Forrest and Spurs dropping even further back from us. It looks like Chelsea could be one of our main competitors for this top four spot alongside Liverpool and Arsenal. United in there as well, but other teams are starting to slip by the wayside and we need to make sure we're not one of those teams as well. The team going out today is identical I think to the one that went out recently Soler has come in in central defence for Andres I assume uh, but otherwise the team is as it were before and we should be getting another three points on the board hopefully with a few goals as well Marin to Bakaria he's got two players over he finds Hartwig he's through on goal but that's a good tackle to stop um, Hartwig from being able to get the goal Hartwig Puts the ball in from a corner, but it's easily claimed by Costa. Jota coming down the right for Stoke, loses it to Marin. Here is Marin again, gives the ball away once more to Jota. Ball tackled away, Bueno has it, Hartwig over the top, great ball, Frias onside, in on goal, one on one, finishes the chance. And we do have the lead from just a speculative long ball over the top. Prochazka to Lambeze. He brings it forward, finds Bueno, Bakaria to Hartwig, in towards Eduardo, finds Bueno again, play is over, it comes to Hartwig but he can't finish it, Delange towards Sobi, 
There's the ball on to Jota. Players goes past our man too easily there. Puts the cross in. It's headed away. El Hadidi back in. Now Warren trying to get the ball in the net. Here's Stoke, but it is cleared away, and we get away with that one a little bit. Jota puts the free kick in, and Darbo just comes to claim it quite comfortably. Players around him. Sends it forward, though. Nobody up there, really. Maybe should have played it out from the back. Instead, Stoker coming at us. You've got El Hadidi. Now Jota. Dupuy. Ball given away. Can't quite keep it, though. It's sent forward again. Eduardo to Bueno. Skips the tackle. Puts it over Hartwig with a good run. He's in on goal. And he finds the back of the net. A very, very good finish for 2-0. And we are looking good today. Hartwig finds Bueno. He's in on goal. And that's an excellent finish from Bueno. The team making it very, very easy today. And we are definitely going to get the three points in this one. Bakaria finds Marin. Now Frias slips it into Hartwig. We're just getting in behind them so easily. And there is Hartwig again for 4-0. Stoke totally capitulating. Hartwig finds Eduardo. There's another ball over the top. Five minutes to go. Bueno, two in the middle. So easy. And Frias makes it five. Well, there is the full-time whistle. It's been an incredible 5-0 win for the team. Really getting back to their best for the first time in a while. And we have crushed Stoke. Now up to third place in the table. But we do have teams behind us who are still to play. But it's just such a good position to be in after 24 games. And remarkable given how far we've come since I took over the team after they were relegated from the Premier League. Well, two wins in a row has meant that we are finally starting to make the most of this good run of games that we've been given. Um, at home against 10th place Bournemouth, we should be winning. And at 16th place Watford, we should also be winning. We've been drawn with Charlton in the FA Cup fourth round, which we'll deal with at the start of next episode. But then we've got that huge game with Spurs, who are currently eighth. We can knock them out of the race for the Champions League, really, if we win that game. Um, but first things first, we need to win this one against Bournemouth. And it's another South Coast derby game. The team is fully fit, though. We've had a week's rest, so no problems there. No excuses, really, for not getting a win as we get towards the end of the January transfer window. I am still looking to maybe bring in a defender. We've let a couple of reserve defenders go, so it would make sense to improve that area, but only if the right players are available. Uh, no changes from the last game either. We've found the team that's working. They destroyed Stoke last time out. Hopefully they can do the same against Bournemouth today. Nearly half time and it's Bournemouth coming on the attack but we've stolen the ball and now Hartwig can counter attack. Just one minute of added time but Furket gets there first before Bueno can get to it. Itarino back out. Can somebody make the breakthrough before the half time whistle goes? It's Casado trying to do it for Bournemouth but he's lost it to Eduardo who finds Morris. He finds Bakaria. Now Hartwig can't keep the ball. Not really sure which way this highlight's going but here's Holland inside to Gustavo. Back to Holland again. Over the top. Gustavo is going to get in here, I think. There's a foul from Prochaska. How many penalties is Prochaska going to give away this season? He just will not stop committing fouls in the box. And it means, again, from a non-threatening position, we're about to fall behind, surely. Gustavo steps up, and he puts it in the top corner. And Prochaska needs to be sold at this rate. Marin with the ball. Over an hour gone now, and we're still trying to break our way through Bournemouth's defence. It's Frias. Now Hartwig. Back to Marin, Bakaria, on to Bueno. Morris, just trying to find that slip ball through. Bakaria might be able to provide it. Instead, we go back across again. Bueno to Eduardo, all the way back to Lambeze. A little bit frustrating, this kind of build-up, but it does get us results. Marin, back to Morris. Bakaria trying to put it forward, and the ball's come to Marin, but it's just tipped wide from the keeper. Morris forward to Bakaria, 20 minutes to go, Frias, now Marin, we need to score now if we've got any hope of trying to win this game, Hartwig to Bueno, ball round the corner, Eduardo just has it taken off him there at the last minute, and Casado can bring it away for Bournemouth, he sends it to Manye. he's tackled by Hartwig though, and he's put it wide, he had a man coming in, he just had to square it, but instead he wastes it. Just two minutes left here as Bournemouth send the ball in from a free kick. Bueno has it. Can we rescue a point here? Because this is really embarrassing if we're going to lose this game, given how much we've dominated it, that Pachaska's stupid foul in the area is going to cost us a, 
uh, or make us lose and leave us with zero points whatsoever. But Frias here to Hickman. Now Bakaria. Terrible mix up there between Frias and Bakaria. Now it's Greco. He's trying to come forward. Pushes it over to Casado. He puts it into the middle. And Schultz finds Greco again. I feel like it's going to be 2 0 here. I'm so frustrated with some of these results. It's Holland. Puts it in. It hits the post. And we do clear it away. A bit of a nothing highlight when the ball hits the post like that. Um, but we're not going to get back into this game, I don't think. It's just been really frustrating, some of these results, because they're games that we should really be winning, and the way that we've been playing, um, it should be a win, but for whatever reason, we're just not quite at the level we should be, and I think a lot of it is to do with our defence. We do need to get some new defenders in, um, but there just aren't really anybody, aren't any available, I'm going to have to look for some after this game. Frias finds Hickman, last chance, and it's tipped wide from the keeper. That was a last chance for Hickman to save something from this game. We've got the corner. Going to be taken by Bueno, and it's cleared by the first man. Embarrassing there in the 93rd minute of the game to not be getting that ball in properly. But we've lost to Bournemouth. A silly, silly defeat to have suffered. And it means that we are not going to get a perfect episode that we needed today. And instead, Nottingham Forest have moved above us, which is not acceptable. Man United still below us, Spurs still below us, Chelsea have a game in hand, but at the moment it looks like it will probably be between us and Chelsea at this point. United still very much in for the shout, Spurs looking like they're falling further away, but Bournemouth now up to ninth position. Well, the final match of this episode is away from home against Watford. It's a game that we should be winning, as the last one was. Uh, Watford a bit further down the table though so this really should be a win um, away from home though you can never really guarantee these things and the team is hovering about 90% fitness as well um, so it will be a bit of a slog but we're playing the exact same team that lost to Bournemouth because really they should be winning these matches we'll just have to see if they can do the job I've still not been able to bring anybody in in the transfer window which has been increasingly frustrating there just aren't the players out there for us at the moment I think a lot of uh, See, a lot of players still think that we're relegation candidates and I think that's a really big issue so we might have to just wait until the summer for reinforcements to arrive and see what we can do this season um, but the team going out there should be able to get the result against Watford and we need it more than ever right now Marin forward to Frias now Hartwig back to Bakaria through to Bueno what a move that was from the team excellently done first touch passing and Bueno with a brilliant finish to see it all off Bakaria finds Hartwig, and now Frias. Ball back to Marin. Bakaria to Hartwig again. Bueno through to Eduardo, and he makes it 2 0. Sometimes the team just looks so good when other times we really, really struggle. But when we are playing well, we look really good. Lo Celso puts the free kick in and it's gone over. I thought we were going to give away another penalty there. I would have been absolutely furious if we had. But instead Hartwig charging down the left. A ball comes over and Bueno has it. Three in the middle to look for. He pulls it back to Morris. Now Hartwig. On to Soler. Beccaria. Down the line. I don't think Frias will get to that. Nocatini gets it. Now Van Bergen on the attack. He plays through Sansonetti as well. And Darbo forced to make a very good stop. Just three minutes of added time to see out for us. But they are on the attack again here. Watford. Nocatini with ball. Loses it. Marin into Beccaria. He pushes it over to Mbom. Now Coupadon turning. Finds Eduardo on the right. He's looking for options. Goes all the way back to Lambeze. Keeping the ball here, not a bad idea just to run down this clock. I don't think Watford are going to get two goals in three minutes, but at the moment you never really know with some of the results that we've had recently. Marin through to Frias, players to his right. He finds Bueno, but it's well saved by the keeper. Free kick from Cooperdan, just wide of the post, but that is the last act of the game. A good 2-0 win against Watford. Uh, gives us three wins out of four, which is not too bad, but it really should have been four wins from four. We are going to end this episode, though, in fourth place in the Champions League places above Nottingham Forest, who also lost to Bournemouth. Um, but Chelsea and United both with games in hand. Neither one of them can knock us out of fourth place, though, so we are looking comfy there. 26 games into the season. I will definitely take that. 
Well, frustrating to have lost to Bournemouth in today's episode, but three wins from four in the Premier League is never a bad return. And next time out, we have the FA Cup fourth round game against Charlton. We'll take on Spurs at home as well, which will be a huge game. Then it's Palace away, their 19th, and then we get to Villarreal in the Europa League. That will be a tough, tough couple of legs against Villarreal. Big games to come after that as well. It's going to be a tough finish to the season. Um, but at the moment, we are still on track for Champions League football in our first season back into the Premier League, which is just insane. Uh, do drop a like on the video if you enjoyed seeing three wins in today's episode. Make sure to subscribe as well if you're looking forward to FM18 content. You can always follow me on Twitter as well for the latest updates or what kind of series and experiments I might be doing in FM18. Let me know in the comments as well if you've got experiments you'd like me to try. But until next time, see ya!